Hey everyone, this is Dan and Chase of Adventure Harley Davidson again. In the last video that we did, we talked about Rockford Fosgate and Harley's legendary audio by Rockford Fosgate and the differentiation between the two, kind of at a high level. We said that we would come back and talk more about some of the specifics and what make these systems different, and that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to go over the amplifiers and then we're going to go over the speakers and kind of talk about the differences in the two so that people have an understanding of the difference. Again, we still get a lot of questions about Rockford Fosgate versus Harley Davidson's system by Rockford Fosgate. We're going to try to clear some of that up for you today. So we're going to start by talking about the amplifiers. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Chase to talk about Harley's amplifier and some of the advantages and features that it offers. All right. So just as Dan said, guys, we're going to start off talking about our new Harley Davidson legendary audio amplifier. Um, so we spoke a little bit about it last week, but to get into a little bit further detail on it. Again, this is a four channel, 400 watt amp. It's going to be a marine grade, uh, <laughs> marine grade quality. Um, and one of the neat features with, the, with this guy is actually the HD app. So with that there, you're actually going to be able to Bluetooth um, the app to your off of your phone straight to the amplifier, and then from there, you can adjust the seven band equalizer. You can run diagnostics on your speakers. Um, you can do a lot of neat features with it. So it's it's a very innovative um, a feature, as I said, that you're not going to find on very many uh, audio systems out there, as well as the new bass management systems. So essentially, with this amplifier here, it's going to continue continuously adapt to the speed and road noise, so that the amp's going to produce maximum bass for your sound system. So of course, that's a big thing on these bikes. You want to have it thump a little bit. That's going to be a big helper for you, as well as the motorcycle dynamic equalizer. So simply put again, the amp's going to be adaptive. So it's also going to adapt the equalizer in real time changes as well um, to get maximum audio quality out of the bike at all times. So with this amp here at our four ohm setting, it's going to be four channel 50 watt to our stage one speakers. And then at two ohm, it's going to be 100 watt to our four channel or four channel at 100 watt um, to our two ohm stage two speakers. Um, there are some other features with this amp here, but those are going to be the main ones that's going to be the help and selling points with them. With that said, I'm going to turn it back over to Dan for the Rockford amplifier. Okay, so Chase pointed out some of the differences, uh, or at least with the Harley amplifier. The Rockford amp is more of a traditional amplifier in that it doesn't have an application, but it is, again, a marine grade amplifier. One of the things about these amplifiers is Harley offers the 400 amplifier in their normal kits. Um, they do also offer an upgrade to an 800 watt amplifier if you want one for your system. Um, this is a class AD technology amplifier, which means that in simplified terms, it levelizes the output of the system. So it will give the same power output whether you're using a four amp or a two amp system, and it le levelizes the power output to those speakers. This also has cooling fans. It has a dual cooling fan setup, so it will stay cool. It mounts up under the fairing of the motorcycle, which gives it plenty of room in the saddlebag. It doesn't take up any of your storage space, those type of things. So those are some advantages to it. Uh, it also has wiring harnesses that come with standard wiring. So you can splice it in to a standard wiring harness for your uh, speakers. It also comes with a plug-in that can be used for RCA jacks. Um, there's also an installation kit that comes with this, and this is just some of the wiring. The backing plate op operates as a heat sink, and this allows it to plug directly into the Harley wiring system. So there's no cutting, nothing like that. So this amplifier offers a lot of flexibility when it comes to building customized audio systems with the settings that you can set up on it and the way that it plugs in and wires. So there's some very specific differences between the two and may, make, may help you make your decision on which system you want to go with. So we're going to go a little more in depth in the speakers. And again, I'm going to turn it back to Chase to talk about Harley speakers. All righty. So our legendary audio speakers presented by Rockford Fosgate and Harley Davidson are going to be brought to you in two different options. We're going to have our stage one kits, um, which as we spoke about last week, I unfortunately do not have them, but I'm still going to describe them to you. And we also have our stage two audio. So what I have here in my hand is going to be the stage two audio. Um, it's going to be a six and a half inch woofer as well as a 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter mid-range speaker and a 20 millimeter tweeter. Um, our stage one speakers are virtually the exact same looking speaker. Just take away the mid-range speaker out of there and it's going to be just the six and a half woofer and then the tweeter alone with it. Um, with our stage one speakers, again, they're going to be at four ohm at maximum 75 watts per speaker. And then with the stage twos, again, it's going to be a two ohm maximum wattage of 150 watts. Of course, it kind of goes without saying, but these are again, waterproof speakers. Um, one of the neat things with them, the new technology is what we're calling R-Tune. So to simply describe it, the speakers and the placement of the mid-range and the tweeter speakers are actually designed to automatic, to always project sound at the rider. So you are essentially at the center of the concert for a better way to say it. 
Um, as well as one of the neat features is the new inductive dampening heat sink. So essentially the speakers are designed to push heat away from the fins of the speaker um, so you have maximum good sound and audio at all times. Uh, featuring an injection molded woofer as well as a high flux neodymium magnet and a bridge design and a ICC which stands for the internal concealed crossover. So you'll need to see there's no wires or anything. It's all concealed internally there. These new speakers are very, very, very nice. Um, definitely worth putting into your motorcycle but of course we do have other options so that's why we're going to continue to talk about the regular rockford audio so what i have here for the rockford system is the six and a half inch and the six by nine speaker the six and a half inch has been standardized by rockford fosgate so this speaker goes in your upper fairing it can be used in a lower fairing in a non-liquid cooled bike and in the tour pack pod speakers so Harley's, or excuse me, Rockford Fosgate has set that up, this up for Harley Davidson's for multi-use. So when you buy this kit, it actually comes with the grills for the tour pack, comes with the grills for the upper fairing, and it comes with the grills for the upper fairing for the road glide and the street glide both. Um, the 6x9 is a little different, and it is designed for the saddlebag lids. In this case, you actually cut your saddlebag lids. It has a mount that goes up underneath and a grill that goes on the top. These have gaskets on them to seal them so they're watertight and this speaker goes into the, again, goes into your tour pack, so, or excuse me, into the saddlebag lids. As you can see, again, it has a neodymium uh, magnet on the bottom of it, so it's very small but very powerful, and it doesn't take up a lot of space in your saddlebags. These speakers, kind of like the, the Harley-Davidson, they have a poly, polypropylene cone in them, and they have a 25 millimeter uh, high-efficiency tweeter mounted in the middle of them, so they are a two-way speaker. Um, and again, they give a little different sound than the Harley Davidson. From a output standpoint, I would say that the sound is very similar in, yep. yeah, in, um, you know, in the amount of sound that you get of them, but the sound is different. The Harley Davidson with the three-way speaker tends to get a little more punch on the bottom end, and the Rockford Fosgate system tends to give you a little more punch in the middle and top end. So there's a, a lot of differences between these two systems. The one thing that we didn't talk about today was the subwoofer kits, which we'll go into later on as we talk about some of the options and how to set your systems up. Anything else that you want to talk about while we're here, Chase? Oh, no. Last thing, I kind of skipped over the Harley-Davidson saddlebag speakers as I was listening to Dan talk about the Rockfords. I figured I should bring them up as well. So with the Harley speakers um, for the saddlebag lids, they're going to be a 5 by 7 woofer. Again, featuring the same 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter, having trouble with that today, mid-range speaker as the um, fairing speakers, as well as the 20, 20 millimeter tweeter as well. Um, and again, with the Harley kit, you actually won't be cutting out your lids. We will buy color match saddlebag lids for you, and then they'll bolt right in there. And of course, you have your, your stock saddlebag lids to use at a later date, or maybe sell them or something along those lines. But for the time being, I think we have got it pretty well covered on the speakers and amplifiers. And as Dan said, we'll talk a little bit more about the amps in the future. Okay, thanks again for tuning in today. As you can see, we have a lot of different options for you, and we carry these in stock and inventory, so we're ready to help you set your bike up whenever you're ready. Thanks for tuning in.